Hey, beautiful people, back again. And a, a significant discovery here. You guys check it out, see what, see what you think. It's um, you got a face of Jesus, the Son of God on the moon. And then uh, Matthew 24, 30. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. I'm not saying this is what it's referring to, but you guys, uh, you let me let me uh, just run through this video here. Let me show you what's going on. As you know, it's real difficult transposing the moon images um, onto the onto a computer screen and then back onto a a phone screen, an iPad screen, and then recording it all. But anyways, we got some images here. If you could keep an eye on this guy right here. That's uh, Mamon. That's uh, Amun. Capricorn. Cobra. It's a tail that actually, the whole snake body actually wraps around the side of the moon and goes up there. Anyways, this, uh, this is a uh, flat, you know, black and white type of uh, image. Now, if you look at the moon... You can see that, you know, let me go back the other way here. Hold on, let's not jump to that one yet. If you look at the moon, you see a lot of the black regions have been, you know, more or less uh, taken care of compared to the white white regions that are uh, completely uh, obliterated by meteorites. So somebody over the, uh, you know, millions of years has gone up and done a little um, maintenance, you know. This is a multi-layered, um, you know, uh, multicolored, multi-material collage uh, that set set up a, um, you know, a, a unbelievable, uh, you know, imagery up there for people to look at. All right, this right here is probably one of the best photos. It's uh, infra, in, infrared ultraviolet spectrum, and that, and the colors reflect the heat that radiate out from the sunlight. So red is the hottest, blue would be the cold, blue, black would be the cold. So, uh, you know, you see my previous videos I put out in the last couple of weeks, I've been trying to uh, point out Kansu's eye here as being a pyramid and the shafts, you can make out the two shafts on the right and the left is not as clear, but on the other ones they are. So it's really difficult to, to bring these pictures out and um you know show everybody what i'm talking about and then like a few people wanted to see a wolf there's a wolf's head right here it's half black half white there's an eye here and an eye there um you know uh, i'll show it on the uh on another uh, moon pick also but and then you have a wolf over here okay and then they have uh mamon over here um uh, He's, uh, you know, it's uh, it's like the uh, it's like the universe you live in. Everything's got to have a good and bad to exist on it. <clears throat> and then you have like a an outline of a guy, almost like Sasquatch here. The pyramid would be his head. You have the blue the blue torso. You have his buttocks, and then you have his legs, uh, like he's doing a break dance right across the face of uh, Kansu or Amun. Still up in the air who who it is, but. Um, the real significant discovery, it's, I mean, this is a hologram. This is a very high-tech, super high-tech hologram that was built to be, um, you know, observed through the uh, light spectrum. Back to uh, Isaac Newton, the great man. Here he is again, showing up 400 years later, you know, dealing with the spectrum of light uh, that comes out of the reflections and the heat. That, that is actually generated from the sun hitting the the uh, the face of the moon. That's this face of the moon actually faces the Earth. And um, that all being said, it is a hologram. You know, it's multi multi layered with with different materials that'll re give off different uh, temperatures. Okay, so that's so there's a lot going on. This is a very high tech image it's not just you know like the nazca lines uh you know some other effigy of some you know carving some presidents on the side of the uh mountain somewhere you know what i mean or uh any other faces this is very super high tech 
high technology, and it's on a massive scale. The moon's surface is like 2,800 miles in diameter. The uh, face of our moon right here, or Konsu, is 666 miles from ear to ear. We're talking a massive um, undertaking uh, that's of uh, you know beyond the pyramids, you know beyond the the largest uh, you know massive uh, <clears throat> um, you know work that's done on on the uh, on the surface of the Earth. It's just enormous. So, anyways, that all being said, like I said, you got a wolf here, and you know this is the left brain. The left brain's you know uh, you know analytical, rational, and then you have the right brain. We have a another wolf. It's more like sub you know subconscious it's uh, intuitive and it's like uh you know you'll be seated at the right hand of the father well you're at the right hand of the right hand of the uh the lobes of the brain and you'll see jesus as i zoom in the face of jesus uh that i believe is jesus now i compared this to the uh the shroud of turn turn there sorry turn turn and uh i'll show you the uh the uh the uh, unbelievable similarities they're just absolutely incredibly uh uh close together but i mean that's it people i mean you're looking at the, you know a man right now this man is somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 miles in diameter you know i mean you're talking about width i mean ear to ear and um you know it's, we're talking about a 50 mile face here again this is this is done with some super high tech uh, materials, you know, particle beams, who knows what they were using. Uh, here he is again. He's more, has blown up. So I'm going to back off a little bit, give you a little bit more to see. And um, this is the uh, the Shroud of Turin, Turin there. Turin, Turin. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not really, you know, it's, but I got them side by side. Now, once I put them side by side, you can see they both have a long bridge nose, long nose. The eyes are, you know, the geometry of the eyes are pretty good. I mean, this guy on the moon, obviously, uh, this photo of the, of the moon is a little blurry. and um, But you can see that they both have a beard. They both, you know, somewhat, you know, uh, same kind of facial structure, facial geometry. It's just absolutely amazing, really, when you think about it. I've swapped sides here, darkened up the eyes a little bit on the uh, the the uh, the uh, face on the moon there, Jesus, the moon Jesus compared to the Turin Jesus, and you can see there's something uh, there's some similarities there. You know, um, there's another picture of the moon right here, and uh, you know you can see you can see the uh, you know the the wolf head there. You know, and then you can see over here more. You can see the wolf head there. They got the eye. You got a black and white eye. Then you have just a black eye. And it's a split coat wolf right down the center. So the right side of the wolf is white. And the other side is uh, um, obviously darker color. And then you have Mamon. 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 He's sitting up there, you know, uh, whispering into... Uh, both the wolf and the uh, left, the left mind of man, you know, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just like those old uh, cartoons you used to see with the uh, devil on one side and the angel on the other. Now you can see this, um, see the cobra head up top there, and uh, that that actually connects to this line. It's the cobra's body goes all the way across, you know. More than, uh, you know, 100, 100, you know, 60 well, percent of the moon goes up, curls around. You can see it kind of curls here and then goes back out again. It's really not that that good of a picture. But um, like I said, this is this is a real difficult thing to, uh, you know, show is me uh, superimposed on the Giza Plateau pointing to the moon. It's all about the moon, people. All right. We're going back to. Um, it's amazing uh, discovery here. Uh, again, I mean, this is just beyond everything, you know. Unbelievable discovery here, people. And, and we're going back, uh, and we'll go back to the original picture. And it was all picked up on 
on a, you know, thermal imaging of the moon. And this place, I mean, there's, there's literally hundreds of uh, faces, beings, animals, you name it. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. But the real profound one is uh, this, this man that happens to be situated on the, on the, on the, uh, on the right side of uh, Amun's head. And uh, there he is right there again, people. You saw it first here on uh, John Shaughnessy's channel. Bringing it to you real, real time here, people. Real time. And that's the pyramid right there. The iris of uh, Amun's eye is uh, a pyramid, you know. And then the, uh, the previous videos, I showed the Orion constellation coming off the the bottom of his eye. So anyways, just throwing that out there. Um, you know, let me know what you think. I'm doing, I just repeated, a, I re repeat a few videos, just trying to crunch it down, get it right, be a little bit politically correct. Um, it does look like, uh, you know, a likeliness of Jesus, the, uh, the Shroud of Turin. You can see the two and, uh, you can see my moon, uh, uh, right up there, whispering into the ear of the uh, wolf and and uh, Kansu, you know, Kansu is, uh, or Amun, he's just like, you know, go away, I'm trying to live the good life, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, leave me some comments, let me know what you think. Um, I think that's the best I can do. I mean, it's so difficult to get these images to come out and tease them out so you can see them. This isn't pareidolia. This is beyond pareidolia. This is, this is, uh, you know, this is some amazing technological work that's gone into very, uh, you know, it's, it's planned, calculated, artistic work on a, on a global scale, you know? So, uh, it's like I said earlier, the, uh, you know, other videos, you know, the earth is alive and now you're seeing the moon alive, you know? The moon is definitely an integral part of the Earth, and the Earth is definitely an integral part of the uh, moon. So, I know it, it, it. Who knows? It might be a space station. That's no, that's no uh, moon. That's a space station. But who knows? Who knows? Anything's possible. But uh, I want to get into my book and uh, read about the uh, what I think of the moon. You can go to these websites here. TSATMoon.com and uh, PyramidGravityForce.com. All right, peace out, people. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, 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 and notify, hit that notify bell, and uh, leave a comment. You know, let me know what you're thinking. And um, I think that's about it. I'll catch you on the flip side, beautiful people.